Um, I'd like to perform two poems for you guys tonight. Um, <clears throat> the first poem I'll be performing for you guys is called Refugee for Reflections. Um, how many of you guys seen that picture um, that's been floating around on Facebook and Twitter of the young man from, uh, I think it was Syria, um, who basically died, I think, at sea and basically his body washed up on the shores of one of the countries. Who's seen that picture? Raise your hand. So um, this poem, Refugee Reflections, after I saw that picture, I wrote this poem. And uh, this poem also has some of my experiences before I came to America. I came to America at the age of nine. And before coming to America, I came from a place called Didab Refugee Camp. That's in uh, Kenya. So it has some of my personal experiences in it too. So the poem goes something like this. This is a spoken word. But I ain't a man of my word, cause frankly words don't matter if they ain't heard. I seen people besiege my speech and rip it from piece to piece to make a new meaning. I'll speak the speech that I speak till I'm barely breathing. I'll speak the truth with proof from the roof of my body and let it consume. So let me resume, this is to whom it may concern. A letter from all of us who watched. This is to whom it may consume. A letter from all of us who watched you. Let me start over. I said, this is a spoken word. So I ain't a man of my word, cause frankly words don't matter if they ain't heard. I seen people besiege my speech and rip it from piece to piece to make a new meaning. I'll speak the speech that I speak till I'm barely breathing. I'll speak the truth with proof from the roof of my body and let it consume. So let me resume. This is to whom it may consume. A letter from all of us who died from starvation while you sat in your homes, bellies filled, a roof over your heads and a foundation. From all of us who cast out prayers to the sky hoping that God would accept them. Waiting every day to see in what form that it would be accepted. I pilot my dreams and let them fly high. I aim for the stars at daytime and since I only see one, I fly close to the sun. And like Icarus, I watched my dreams fall. With a splatter, my dreams were ink. Now I guide them on this page as it was once scattered. Drifting days at sea, my homeland got men who want to shoot and kill me. They shoot at will, their only aim is to kill. While the bullets they toss towards me, ask them why they want to kill. If you truly feel that a man's mind is your greatest weakness, then you are so insecure that you fight with weapons so impure that you made me... Feel like in seconds my innocence is gone with my inner sense. I sense my consciousness is gone as I reconnaissance a new place to call home. They told me home is where the heart is. But sometimes I feel like my own heart departed. And the second poem I want to perform for you guys since I'm going with the socially conscious idea is, first of all, I'd like to explain why I wrote this poem. I came from a place called Columbus, Ohio. And in Ohio, we have three major cities. We have Cincinnati, Cleveland, and Columbus. And in America, there has been a lot of cops shooting innocent civilians. And Columbus, Ohio has the highest number among these three cities of Cincinnati, Cleveland, and, and, uh, and Columbus. Among the top five in our country, Ohio has three of those cities, so basically, this is a, a very personal poem back to my state and also just to the, to the na national conscience of America, as you would say. I said, activate my vision when I paint my visions. Then publish it like Activision, making movements like it's activism. Listen, simplicity is complexified by my complexion. I am a black male. Malevolent is how you see my plans to make my struggles relevant. You're negligent of the fact that my life matters too. But when I scream that mine matters is when all lives matter to you. When you see my brothers taking bullets on the streets, you're quiet. But when you see me kneeling on the national anthem, you riot. How is it so easy for you to overlook my struggle? With mentalities like these that cease to freeze, I fear my brothers will never be free. But I had a dream last night. That I was with Malcolm and Dr. King last night. I heard a scream last night. Mama saw her son's body drop on the TV screen last night. I shed a tear last night. For all my brothers that get shot in the streets, better be careful, BB gun in the running, you'll get deceased. Better be extra cautious when you get stopped by police or pulled out of your seat or when your car stops in the middle of traffic 
And when they try to shoot you, please don't act erratic because you always look like a big bad dude. Whether you're 4 foot 11 or 7 foot 2, whether you're 12 years old or age 42, whether your daughter right behind you strapped in a seat belt, watching her soul leave her dad's body, I wonder how she felt. It's okay, mama, I'm here with you. And if you cry, I promise I'll shed a tear with you. Imagine four years old, watching the man who shot your father walk away free. No justice, no peace, I promise you we'll fight till we're free. How often is it that you see a man screaming peace, get shot dead by police? Now deceased, this family screams, rest in peace. Death is in our genes like a crease. My hands in the air, they tell me stop resisting. Gun to my back, I hope the trigger's missing. Reminiscing, how life flashed before my eyes, ears bleed, I can't hear my mama's cries. The matter is that it's mind over matter, cause black lives matter, don't wanna see my brothers left beat, bruised or battered. Um, I was gonna add one more poem. I, I'm pretty sure um, we have enough time, it's just gonna be a short one, but I'm only gonna add it if you guys wanna hear it, so make some noise if you wanna hear it. All right. So to finish off the night, this is my last performance here in Boston. Um, this poem is called The Keys to Jannah. Um, I just talked about some pretty uh, serious topics, but this is something that will get you hopeful for Jannah, inshallah. Because this dunya, you know, it's, it's as the Prophet wasallam said, this dunya is a prison to the mu'mineen. So this is a poem to get you hopeful for the akhirah. I said, stagnant minds never elevate. So the intelligence stays the same even if the body levitates. Level with the right intentions and no strict flow in either direction. So whether your intent is right or wrong, I'll still choose to rewrite my wrongs. So as my pen flows, the ink and fills the page to brink. As the words flow from my lips, feel the energy. As the word flows from my lips, feel this energy. I just need some space to be alone. And if time is money, then I need a loan. And if time is money, then I need a loan. But if I could take back my mistakes, I would. But they led me here, so I don't know if I should. I often prayed I'd take the path of righteousness. And only one is perfect despite this mess. And that's the Lord above me. Lord, forgive me for my past sins. Lord, forgive me for my future ones. And grant me into the pearly gates. Heaven awaits, so please admit me in. I know my actions speak louder than words. So I try to make sure you hear every nine and verb And though my limbs lift a tail a tale of disobedience My mouth seems to be wet with remembrance So cancel out my variables though my sins vary Verily forgiveness comes with every good deed And those who are in need indeed will find their rewards Buried like seeds in the eternal garden with rivers and streams It's not extreme to beg for these scenes Make supplication to the Lord of all beings Because this dunya is promised to the mu'mineen Because this dunya is a prison to the mu'mineen so imagine this, you'll be living in eternal bliss, every wish from your lips to your fingertips and more. You'll never be bored, your eyes will never be sore. Your eyes will never be sore. So let this settle the scores from the, from the words you never ignored. Let Jannah be the reward and the mercy from your Lord. See, Jannah is promised to those who swallow pain. No pride in their hearts, not even a grain. Kept their heads on the floor whispering Allah's name. Persevere through the night because worship keeps them sane. And stay steadfast through drought and rain. And thank God through pleasure and pain. Thank you, Boston.